ladies and gents welcome back to another video in front of me here today is an ipad pro second generation i believe this is the 10.5 inch model and this is quite possibly the cheapest working 10.5 inch ipad that has ever been sold on ebay this thing cost me sixty dollars and 94 cents i bought it from goodwill and the description was really vague, but they mentioned that it was fully functional, but that there was an issue with the LCD. So we're gonna open this up, see how bad or how good it is, and we'll decide if I truly got an amazing deal or if I wasted my money on a non-working iPad. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Here is the iPad Pro. This is definitely the 10.5 inch model. We can tell because of the camera flash and the speakers and everything about this. It's got the thin bezels on the sides there. And it looks like, is this just dirt? Yeah, that'll scrub off. This iPad's pretty dirty. If we look at the notes on the back, we can see that it is find my iPhone off, which is good version 7 17.0 it's a 10.5 inch wi-fi plus cellular 64 gigabytes and the only note is lcd we're going to find out how bad that is right about now when we try to power this thing on okay that's a good start while this boots up let me clean off the display because it's pretty dirty Okay, it cleaned up very nicely. I'm not seeing any damage on the display. Looks like maybe I missed a few spots here on this side. There we go. This thing was pretty dirty. Who knows what it was used for before it went up for sale. But guys, check this out. Look at that, this display looks pretty good. It looks like maybe there is a little condensation under the middle there but overall not bad. You can see it more there on the white background. Let me go through the setup here. And once we get to the home screen, let's check this thing out and see how good it really is. Okay, here we are. We're at the iOS or iPad OS rather 17 home screen. And I don't know about you guys, but this thing looks pretty good. There's definitely a little bit of uh, something going on with the screen here. I think it looks like there's condensation under the display. And it's apparent here with a white background. You can really see it there. But I was expecting this thing to have like a cracked LCD or a bunch of dead pixels or even like an LCD bleed where you have like a big smudge of just black on the display. But this doesn't have that. Let's check inside settings, general, and about. And you can see this is an iPad Pro 10.5, 64 gigabytes. We're running 17.0, and this is a cellular model. I mean, I'm shocked right now. This was $60, $61 for this thing. And it looks like it's almost in perfect condition. Yeah, the outside's dirty, and it does have some marks on the display, but in reality, you're never going to see that unless you've got a white background. Let's test the cameras. Camera looks good. You know, interestingly, so my main iPad is this one here. Let me grab it. It's the 2018 iPad Pro, just the base model. And I got this when it launched right after this one. Now, one of the things that the old iPad has that the new one does not is this iPad has optical image stabilization on the camera. So let's see if I can show that to you guys. If we put this here, if I wiggle, like if I shake the device, it stabilizes the image a little bit. But if I were to do that on my iPad, 
when I shake the device, it really moves on the display. I mean, you can really tell there. So for some reason, they removed the optical image stabilization on the 11 inch iPad. I don't know if they brought that back in the M1 and the M2 models, but I know that this 10.5 inch does have that stabilization, which is really nice. Not that I recommend shooting videos or taking photos with this iPad, but you could do it. I mean, it's got a 12 megapixel camera. Let me go ahead and do that. We'll try this again. Yeah, I mean, I'm like really shaking this thing and the, the picture is staying pretty still in comparison. Anyway, this is amazing. I mean, the apps are loading right now and I don't see any problems with this iPad. I mean, for $61, what the heck? No cracks in the display, really no scratches. There's no dents on the outside. Just a, some few nicks right here from just like everyday use. No big deal. This thing is iCloud unlocked. There's no MDM profile or anything. I'd say this is a tremendous deal. And if you're looking to pick up a used iPad, I don't even know what these regularly sell for because my saved search on eBay only goes up to like $100. So I, I never even see these for sale. But I mean, this has a ProMotion 120 Hertz display, which looks phenomenal. It's incredibly thin. It supports Apple Pencil. It has four speakers, two on the bottom there, two on the top here. It's got a headphone jack. So this is the last like pro iPad that came with a headphone jack. And it's just, it's a beautiful device. And it's running iPad OS 17. Probably be the last year for support on that, unfortunately. Um, it's got 64 gigabytes, which is the lowest you can get. Let's check out. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to do that. Oh, yeah, there we go. 10.5. Now, I just want to see some of the specs on this thing. Oh, yeah, True Tone Display. It's got the A10 Fusion chip, which is the same one in the iPhone 7. You can just shoot 4K 30 FPS video. Touch ID, if you like that. I'm not a fan of the first-gen Apple Pencil. I think the second one, which I have here, is much better. but you can use the first gen on here. Really thin and light. I mean, this thing is like paper thin. It's incredible. And beautiful display, 600 nits brightness, fully laminated pro motion, true tone color, wide uh, P3 color gamut. I mean, this is a solid device. I absolutely would recommend this if you're looking for an iPad. I don't. Again, I don't know what these go for, but my guess would be like, between $100 and $200, depending on the condition. But if you can find one of these as cheap as I did, I mean, absolutely, I think you should get it. Again, got the uh, moisture there. I don't know if that's ever gonna go away or what, but again, this, this iPad is, uh, I'm shocked right now at the deal I got on this thing. Let's go ahead and change the wallpaper. I really, I don't think I like these new all of this that they got going on for the wallpapers. I think it's a little much. It's kind of confusing, but there we go. That's been a look at the $61 iPad Pro second gen 10.5 inch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than what I normally do, but I couldn't pass up this deal, even though it's not on the original version of iOS. Still think it's cool to get one of these and check it out, do a little review on this iPad many years after it launched. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you around in another one. Thanks for watching.